Hey guys, I have this cute Valentine's design for you this week using this molded stone. Link in the description for how to make these stones. I have already base coated it with liquid gesso and then we are going to start by lining out the design. Start first by finding that center dot. These Happy Dotting Company molds have a center dot in them so it makes it nice and easy to find the center and then drawing kind of this S to create the yin yang design on the stone. Next I'm going to take this large dotting tool to trace the two circles on either side of this design and you can kind of straighten them out if needed if they're not exactly perfect circles. The next step is to fill in the background colors of the yin and the yang with base coats of black and red. This tutorial on doing a lace border with dotting tools was so popular with you guys I thought I would take the same technique and apply it to a little more intricate of a design. First, we need to get these base coats on. It will probably take you a couple of coats to get this completely filled in. About being forced to come back for a second base coat is that you can clean up the edges where the colors are meeting if you notice any rough spots or where it was a little bit you know more crooked you can use this second base coat to clean those edges up and make them nice and straight The next step is to take this Folk Art Extreme Red Glitter and add it to all of the background of the design that is red. I would recommend doing at least two coats of this to make sure you have enough sparkle coverage and also spot checking the design in some light, whether that's a lamp or in sunlight to make sure that the glitter was evenly coated. Sometimes there'll be a spot that you can tell there's a little less glitter, so you can go ahead and patch that in and you can't really tell once it's dry. Now I'm going to take the number four of my mandala dotting tools and some white paint and start making that lace border. So I'm just going to take the dotting tool and place the dots nice and cozy close together around all of our edges. So each of the circles and that center S. And when I get done with the dotting, I'm going to take a fine line paintbrush and kind of draw a nice even edge around that kind of ties everything together so that the scalloping is only showing on that outside part of the circle. Next, I am going to take this nail dotting tool and the red paint and go ahead and make some hearts on the black side of the design. So using a dotting tool, you just start with one dot and kind of drag it down and then another dot and drag it down. So you can see how I'm making these hearts. These are the largest hearts on the design that I'm gonna make. And then I'm gonna size down with the other side of this dotting tool and then another smaller dotting tool to add even more hearts to the design. Now to complete 
complete that lacy look, I'm going to take the small end of a nail dotting tool and add red dots to the center of all of the white dots on the red design and then also black dots on the circle that is on the side of the black design. I'm also going to come back to the red glitter paint and fill in the larger hearts and some of the medium sized hearts with some glitter so that they stand out a little bit from that black background. I'm also going to add red glitter to those red dots on the white border so that it matches the red background exactly. That's what gives the lace appearance is when it looks like it's showing through those white dots. To tie in the black side of the design, I am going to take the small white dotting tool and add white dots around the larger hearts that also have the glitter paint. This design came out super cute and it's a great addition to the yin yang playlist as well as your valentine collection. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. See you next time!